Good afternoon. I'm Frank Vardaman, Bert's son, and on behalf of our family, I'd like to say thank you and welcome to this celebration of life of my dad. I think most of you have uh, probably seen his obituary, and maybe um, you also saw um, the uh, entrance into the congressional web, uh, record celebrating dad's life. If you have, you know that dad was one of the many heroes of his generation who answered the call of his country to serve in World War II. In dad's case, um, he was in the Army Air Corps in heavy bombers over Nazi Germany. He flew and completed over 30 missions. His bomb group had a casualty rate of about 50%. Dad was 19 and 20 years old during the war, and he witnessed terrible, terrible things. Not long ago, he told me that every day since the end of the war had been a gift and a blessing to him. But today I want to say a few words about dad being a different sort of hero than a warrior. Dad grew up in Covington, Georgia in what had been the Jim Crow South. Um, following the war, he used the GI Bill um, to become the first of his family to attend college. He went to Auburn University in, in Alabama, and while there, he met his lifelong love, Martha Hay, um, and while they were falling in love together, he fell into the influence and love of her father, Dr. Samuel Bernie Hay, the longtime pastor of First Presbyterian Church in, in Auburn. Dr. Hay was also an ally of the civil rights movement um, that was beginning in the 1940s. And so in 1948, Dr. Hay answered the call to become the president of Stillman College in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Um, Stillman at that point uh, was a, and is to this day an historic black college that was uh, founded and supported by the Presbyterian Church. Upon graduation from Auburn, mom and dad moved to Tuscaloosa to join with Dr. Hay in transforming Stillman from a two-year agricultural and nursing school, technical school, uh, into a vibrant four-year liberal arts um, college. Dad, as business manager and property manager at Stillman, uh, was responsible for, over the years, constructing um, over 10 new buildings, including a, a chapel, a gym, a, an office building, a um, student complex, uh, men's and women's dormitories, and a um, new classroom building. He also constructed several modest homes for professors who were retired from uh, Northern Presbyterian colleges who came south at Dr. Hay's urging to volunteer their teaching expertise at Stillman. What made Dad a hero during these years in the 50s and 60s was his belief that every person, no matter their race, religion, or creed, um,
believed that they were created equal and deserved equal opportunity um, in this fair land. Dad's great legacy, Dad's great legacy, I believe, is that he and Mom followed the guidance of the Holy Spirit in all of their labors of love, and they worked hard to instill in their four children um, the ideals of democracy and anti-racism. This is an incredible legacy. Dad hated war. He hated it. And he devoted many, much of his later years in teaching at middle schools and high schools and churches about the horrors of war. Mom and Dad traveled to Europe several times during their retirement, and on one occasion they visited the Coventry Cathedral in Coventry, um, England. The cathedral was bombed out by the Nazi Blitz of 1940 and stands today as a memorial to the idiocy and insanity and horror of war. The new cathedral is built next to the old cathedral, and um, every, um, every Friday, um, a litany that was written in 1960 um, is read and recited at the new cathedral. Um, Dad asked that in his memorial service that this litany be used as a final witness of his abhorrence of warfare. I'd like to ask you to join with me in this prayer of reconciliation and forgiveness. Dear Lord, for all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Forgive us. For the hatred which divides nation from nation and race from race and class from class, forgive us. For the covetous desires of people and nations to possess what is not their or our own, forgive us. For the greed which exploits the work of human hands and lays waste to this earth, forgive us. For our envy of the welfare and happiness of others, forgive us. For our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned and the homeless and the refugees, forgive us. For the lust which dishonors the bodies of women and children and men, forgive us. For the pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God, forgive us. And so, let us be kind to one another. Let us be tender-hearted. Let us forgive one another as God and Jesus forgives us all. Amen, and thank you for being with us today.